Hello everyone and welcome to Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome and if it's not, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I'm sharing with you part one of Decorate With Me. For Christmas, I'm decorating my living room and as you can see in my Christmas stash here, you see all neutral colors. Uh, I said in my Christmas tree video I needed something different and I just went for it. This is a picture frame that I had originally with a painting in it and I removed the painting and I ordered this beautiful print on Etsy and I went to Staple and got it blown up to a 24 by 36. Um, it wasn't really a 24 by 36. It was like a uh, 24 by 35 and a quarter so there was quite a bit missing so I went to Michael's and ordered myself a new mat just to make sure that in the future if I ordered a, a new print for a different season it would uh, it would fit so on my two tables here I'm using a trees that I previously had I had these for a few years they're very pretty still so I'm using them and I went shopping a lot at home since this year. I wanted a nutcracker team, kind of, and I bought a lot of nutcracker, as you will see as I go along. These are beautiful wooden nutcracker. They are a little bit different from one another, but the exact same height and color, so they work perfectly. Now I'm adding two um, class tree that I got on home sense as well. And uh, when the light shine on these, it's very, very pretty. Two little wooden black trees um, and as you can see all the three pieces on my table are different heights uh, which makes it more pleasing to the eye. I'm adding a beautiful full fur a trow on the top of my chair just to make it a little bit more cozy and wintry. Um, and plus my dog Rosie absolutely loves full fur. As you can see here on the right corner of this video, she jumped off of where she was on the sofa and patiently waiting for me to be done with my throw so she can steal the spot. And there she goes. She didn't even give me time to put my pillow in there. What a sweet dog. And the princess is laying here on the chairs with a paws cross, happy as can be. On this ladder here, I'm simply going to add some trows that are uh, more neutral and fit in my decor. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and see how it looks.
I got this tree branch at HomeSense. It's very realistic and very pretty. It's different than the one I got at Home Hardware that I showed on my Christmas tree video. They are a little bit darker than the ones from Home Hardware, but they, uh, they are so nice. So I'm simply gonna hook that here, fluff it up a bit, and then I bought two bells at HomeSense as well and stacked them together and made a black bow and tied it to the back. And I'm simply going to hook that on the ladder. The last time you saw a video with my fireplace, it was a white fireplace. I did a quick makeover on this fireplace and I will put up a video to show you how I did it. But um, I went to Walmart and I got some uh, command hooks. And I basically, uh, this is one of the wider ones that support more weight and this is one of the smaller ones. Uh, but I did get quite a bit of hooks and scattered them along the fireplace. And I got a big garland. It was very, very long. So I was able to make it go around twice. It's the lighter color of the two garland. And these ones are just uh, like a branch that I got that I took apart. And I put some pieces here and there just to have two tone colors like my Christmas tree does. And I just attached them with zip tie to give me more fullness and uh, like I said, to have more than one color into the uh, branches. I also put some mini lights and the boxes are here. So I have easy access to those and you can't really see them when you look at the fireplace as well. So this is what it looks like when I was finished doing it. And I'm sorry, somehow I lost the video of this part. I added two little trees on top and had it mini lights around the tree. This frame I absolutely love. I got this some home sense and I could not resist it. I had to have it and it looks perfectly on the top of the fireplace and it's the perfect size in order for me to be able to keep my big mirror. And this fella here is the reason that I changed uh, my home decor. The very first nutcracker that I'm putting on the fireplace, I absolutely fell in love with it. So I decided from that point that I was doing nutcrackers this year. He's all to blame for it. This is another one of those beautiful glass tree. You can see the shine on it. And when the light shines on it, it's so, so pretty. So I'm just gonna add that between the two nutcrackers just to divide them a little bit because they are black on black. And I also want different uh, heights of my three pieces. Uh, it just looks better. I got these two candle holders at HomeSense. Um, and you know what? They're so versatile. They match any of my decor year round. So they are absolutely perfect. And the next three sets of candle holders I'm showing you are all from the thrift store and I paid less than $30 for three sets of candle holders. It's perfect and it's a variety of colors and it just blends very, very nicely with all of my decor. I got these tapered uh, candle at um, Amazon. They come in a pack of 12. They are battery operated and they also have a remote control, which is perfect. I will post the link in the description box down below.
this little garland with the bell is just the perfect tone from a fireplace. I got this at HomeSense and I'm just gonna go and hook that onto the hooks. Now this is a set of three bells that I hooked one onto another and I'm simply going to put that on the corner of the fireplace. They are three different sizes which are perfect. I have my three stockings that I'm simply going to hook on the right side of the fireplace. I know what you're thinking, I shouldn't be putting that mat over here, but I am very, very careful and I wait for quite some time after the door is closed to put it there and I make sure I'm home with that mats there. I remove it every time we put wood in the stove and make sure there's nothing on the floor before I put it back. My dogs absolutely love to lay in front of the fireplace. This is my wooden rocking horse i am absolutely in love with this piece i got that last year at winners and it's going to stay with me forever i love it and i'm just adding two trees on the left side of the fireplace just to fill in a little bit in that corner For the sofa, I'm just simply going to put a lot of beautiful cushions and a throw, of course, because I need one for the dogs. They love to cuddle and they need a blanket. I got this shelf a little while ago at HomeSense and I'm simply going to add some bells to it, some nutcrackers and a little bit of greenery and probably gonna put some candles just to make it a little bit more cozy.
As you can see, I got very little left on my table for the core, so I'm going to use this for my table. Uh, I'm, I'm using this black metal tray and some books that I got at the thrift store. These are nice neutral colors. And I'm using one of those uh, trees, again, the glass trees with the gold rim on it. It's beautiful. Some greeneries, and I'll add a candle to this as well. These little reindeers were not black, they were red, and I really, really love them, and I didn't see the point of getting new ones um, where it's such an easy fix to just put a little bit of paint on it and reuse uh, what you have on hand if you can. And over here, I'm just adding one of my acorn ornaments. And I decided to put a full fur cushion in front of my fireplace in the left corners and don't worry these will be removed when I handle the stove. For my TV cabinet I decided to keep it very very simple. I just added some uh, greeneries and some lights into the greeneries and that is all I'm doing to this area. And keep in mind that on YouTube, they also have a really nice heart for your TV. You, there's so many to choose from, depending on your style. If you want something more rustic or more vintage or something very vibrant, there are so much to choose from. And over on the bottom, I'm just adding an extra stocking that I have left over. Go and check out the TV heart. They are absolutely gorgeous. And that's it for this video, folks. It looks like the dogs are beat out from all the decorating <laughs> and are resting right now. Um, I hope you will enjoy my neutral uh, color scheme this year. I know it's not for everyone. I personally just needed a change, something new and different. And uh, we'll see if that gives me the joy of Christmas as much as my vibrant color did in the past. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would love to hear all your comments in the comment box down below. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel yet and you like what you see, today is the perfect day to hit that subscribe button and join Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. Until next time, folks, you have yourself a wonderful day and I want to wish you all a very happy holiday.